Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Austria Hungary, and I'm playing today with Mr. Mokolover. Oh, right. So, obviously, as you can tell, there are a lot of uh, things going on in the Middle East. Mostly a lot of defensive maneuvers for us, or at least our allies. But, we are going to continue. So last time we had a lot of battles in the Adriatic, and we still kind of do. <sighs> you boys better better win this one, guys. Marco Ber Berglin, please, win your battles. Um... They're currently using sh I'm currently using shoots through but divisions to help them out. Oh wait, I didn't give them I didn't give them artillery. That was that's got to be one of the dumbest moves I've ever made. But I, I don't have any more artillery. Um, we only need 24 field guns, but I, I'm literally out. That would really help out though with our soft attack. Field hospitals. Uh, do I have any support equipment? No, I have nothing except trucks. And in this case, they're not even trucks. They're horse-drawn carriages. Uh, I could add some more infantry to them, because I don't have any guns. Alright, so we're, we literally all we have are trucks. So, for the love of God, you better win. And we have morale. I'm going to call my command uh, command power stuff morale. Oh, we won the battle. Regardless. Awesome! Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, guys, don't lose that battle, because if we do, we're going to have one hell of a mess on our problems. On our hands. Oh my god, that'd be terrible. So, realistically, since we are really out of weaponry... I'm going to do my best. Oh my god, Germany! Are you attacking? Oh my god, I don't... I, I was going to say, I don't want to attack. Because we literally don't have equipment to attack, as you can tell. But, I will attack if the odds seem favorable in our position. Like here, we might win if we attack. I really hope. We might win if we help the attack here. I'm going to do some very, very extremely choice uh, battles to engage in. This one, if we could win, is actually an extremely good one. Ooh, anti-tank warfare done. I read the thing last time, so I'm not going to read it now. So, the next step is armored warfare. Tanks are getting more mobile and beginning to be able to keep pace with our other military vehicles. In addition, tanks with a proper gun are able to fight and knock out enemy tanks. We can develop the cavalry tank role with these developments, allowing our tanks faster, or allowing our faster tanks backed with armored cars to cause havoc in the back of enemy lines. Well, that's going to be one hell of a waste of thing, because I have no armored cars, and I can't even produce anything else. So, there's no way I'm going to be able to produce armored cars with these things called tanks. Whatever that means. Oh, we went up by this percentage. I really want this battle to win, just because if we can do that, we are over the river, and we could potentially get more ground in the future. Luckily, I've not been needed. I've not needed to cover the entire front, like I said in the last episode, or maybe even at this point, two episodes ago. My goal is like just like with the federal budget, trying to curb our spending on goods here. Ah, like a federal budget, we're never going to be able to pay all that stuff off or fix the federal budget without a revolution. But oh my God, no, USA, no, no, <laughs> that's a big no, 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 no. Decla declaration of war. What? Germany, what did you do to, to piss them off? You know, honestly, I should be able to hold them off. And they'll obviously have, you know, soldiers on the, all the fronts. Oh, Germany, oh my, you don't have anyone guarding the front there. Oh. Alright, so we we need some guns. We need more guns than I really anticipated. Uh, yeah, do Lemborg. Lublin, I, I, it's not part of our country. That's part, is that, that's not part of our, yeah, it's not part of our country. Uh, what's the resistance here? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good as well. I don't mind building some more military factories here. Oh, 70. That's pretty good. Um, Zara, you could really use some more coastal forts. We'll wait for that. Each of Montenegro. We'll build forts up here because I'm forts. Military factories. Because if the United States gets, gets involved, we are, I would say sunk, but we're, we are in an even worse position if they get involved. Oh, my God. Oh wait, two divisions? Uh, like, this is what I'm talking about. Something like this? That's worth attacking. There's only like two to three divisions. We got pretty good guys fighting for us. They're pretty well stocked at this point of supplies. But, ooh, naval doctrine would be nice. Land doctrine, we're almost done with 1918 is next year for artillery. We could do armored cars. Uh, yeah, well, I guess... Uh, but naval stuff, we're doing very well in our naval doctrine. If we get down here, that could really help out our battleships. Let's start doing some more submarine stuff so we can get our naval doctrine 
more completed. Oh, four? Yeah, we're still... We're five, six? Oh, shit. We're winning. We're still winning. We might be able to win here. Maybe. As long as everything is green, I'm positive, or at least I'm fairly confident that we can win. Alright, so you guys are going to come back to this guy over here. You're going to help garrison the front. At this point, uh, I don't know if I should move my soldiers away, because the line's pretty darn thin with... Even with our cavalry here. What are you garrisoning? You're garrisoning a port that no one else wants to... Oh, it's not even a fucking port. That's the port over here. Wait, the port's over here. Okay, so you can come back to him. Uh... Hmm... Tough decisions, man. My gosh. Just tough decisions. I can expand this... Just a little bit more. So that they are maybe a little more prompted to attack us if we have less, less divisions on the front. Uh, we're, we are definitely going to win this battle. I'm I'm confident about this. God, we really need to knock out the Russians. If, uh, we're losing this. God dang it! If we want to win this this war, at this point, I need to conscript more of these guys. You need to be on highest priority at this point. We need infantry equipment and support equipment. Ooh, doctrine of effort. So we get better land doctrine and a little more army XP. Harsh rationing. Eh. Military factory would be nice. End the dual monarchy. Unify the realm. Oh, that's good. I like uh, air military doctrines. Oppressed minorities, I don't care. Minority language ban, I don't care. Massive effort, I don't care. <clears throat> land doctrines, land doctrine. Bans are effect. This focus will fire on November, on uh, January 18th. That's good to know. We could get more infrastructure and then get the next research slot. Naval gun effort, dreadnoughts. Uh, let's do land option because we we continually need more and more land options. Mm, you guys seem pretty good on that. Uh, Strauss Panzer Wagen. I might as well do something here just because I don't have any tanks anyways, so I don't have really very much I can put here. Re re equipped infantry. They're slightly better. They're slightly better on attack. Oh, they're the actual infantry. Armored cars. I don't really know how much I need for this. I don't know what I'm doing. Armor. Armored cars. Armored cars. Yeah, I'm going to consider this as like 5 and 5. Re equipped. Re equipped. Equipped. I wonder if that could really change a lot for us in these upcoming battles. We'll save that for now. Let's, uh, let's do 15 5. Standard. Tank division with. Now, if I did this and replace our current infantry with a re-equip, we just get slightly better defense. How will that affect anybody? Will it affect anybody at all? I, I don't think so. I mean, they're just it's just manpower. With that in mind, maybe I'll just switch everything over. This will probably cause me to lose the war, won't it? <sighs> I hope not. God, I hope not. Re-equipped. I mean, more defense is always great to have. Equips. All right, looks pretty good. All right, so the best soldiers. Oh god! Eventually, I wish it was like uh, do all button, but looks like we're gonna do this manually here. Uh, no, you, you, you. Make them all re-equipped. Re-equipped. Before anything else happens, let's go and do that. Because we have the soldiers for this, and it's a pretty good benefit. Uh, that looks pretty good. And the last one we have to do is our Coast Guards. And actually giving them more defensive, slightly more defensive power will really help out. Alright. Okay, I, I feel a little bit more confident about our defense, but we'll see what happens. Uh, six. Good. Seven. We need this province, so I'm, I'm okay with attacking there. Falcons. Still pretty good. Uh, it looks like they're attacking maybe a little bit more. Especially these provinces that I've kind of left. That's good. Just keep attacking me, boys. Uh, yeah, we need more guns, more guns, and support equipment guns. We need more guns. We have a massive deficit of guns and artillery, but that's okay. Yeah, our guys are really pushing these Russians hard. Holy cow. Oh, we took it. Good. Don't believe Alright, so with that, we should actually maybe get even more equipment back if we're not attacking. Yeah, the Russian equipment levels are not very good. 
Uh, oh, that's seven. That's a lot of divisions. I was like, they have only one division there. Maybe I'll attack. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Go home. Go home. There's only how many ships? There's only 23 of you guys. Oh, my gosh, guys. You, you absolute craziness. I mean, I'm confident we can blow all these guys up. But please, just, just go home. Just, just don't even engage. Just go home. We have to constantly click on do not attack. As they continue to get attacked. Please. Prepare now. You don't engage them. Even though I'm, I'm confident we will win regardless. Just don't engage. Pull out. Pull out. See, was, that's what I'm worried about. Just them randomly going out and trying to do a good job. I, I, I said go home. Do not engage. Go home. Oh my god. Just leave. Of course they're going to continue to try to tracking you. You're too good for them. Alright, so... What? What is going on here? Are you in port? No. Alright, good. Now stay there, and don't move. I need more... Uh, what you calls it? Destroyers, before we do anything else. Oh my gosh, look at this madhouse. So, if you didn't have enough XP already, you're going to get more. Let's just put it like that. You're, you're going to get more. How many Hudson Hudson Dwarf, how are you doing? Oh, oh, we can become a logistics wizard. Ooh, I like that. Let's do that. This way, if we suffer any logistic penalties, that won't be so bad for us. Like here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. You're guarding the French line. Oh my gosh, that's a ton of divisions here. So many divisions. Hopefully we can hold out. Germans aren't attacking. That's good. Our deficit looks like what? What would... Guns deficit is going great right now. Field guns are actually doing really well as well. So, it's July 28th. Which is actually my birthday. But, hopefully by... I would say by November, we will be out of our artillery, support equipment, and infantry equipment deficit. Which is a terrible time to attack in the middle of November. And by that time, we will be at war with the United States. So, good luck, guys. And by good luck, guys, I mean good luck to me. Alright, good. Oh, yeah, we definitely want more Coast Guard divisions. And they're not just Coast Guards, obviously. Oh, shit. I need you over here. And no, I don't want to move you. I'll move you, though. We need them to help suppress things as well. Oh, they are getting attacked here in both the area. Oh, we're doing a good job protecting Romanians' interests as well. Just, oh, well, look at that. Look at that deficit go down. Oh, so good. And actually, before we strike again, I'm probably going to raise a few more soldiers, to, or a few divisions to become 40 with divisions. Um, did we just make another Dreadnought? I think we, we might have, yeah. Oh, there it is. Ersatz Monarch Class. Eins. Class Eins. Good. You guys. Do you have any upgrades? Heinz Lippert? Nope. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, just keep attacking me, guys. When the Americans start attacking and they join the war, oh, it's going to be so bad. Ooh, line attack. Better soft attack. Following the heels of chlorine gas came the use of phos phosgene. Phosgene, as a weapon, was more potent than chlorine in the fact. In that, while the latter was potentially deadly, it caused the victim to violently cough and choke. God, that's got a terrible way to go. Uh, let's see. Support battalions. We could do military police. We bo all we get is more suppression bonus. More suppression, more suppression, more suppression bonus. That's all it provides. Eh, we might as well do this. Rumfell PA2. Oh, Germany. Why? Why are you attacking? Actually, what is this? Good. Our guns deficit. Actually, realistically, we need to focus heavily on defense for our Coast Guard. So, look, I got a lot of blimps, though. That's kind of nice. Focus mostly on the guards. Actually, I need to make a few choice decisions here. Now, we're obviously suffering from attrition problems here. Is there anywhere that's not suffering from attrition problems? Oh, you guys are going to have to attack over a river. I'm going to tell you to become the best soldiers. Yes, it does hurt infantry equipment. It does hurt guns, but in the long run, it'll definitely pay off. Or at least I hope it will. Uh, we're losing this battle. That's not good. Oh, did we abandon another... No. This is the port. That port up here, where cursor is, is guarding that. That's good. And the United States joined the British Raj as their enemy in the Hungarian-British Indian War. What the hell? British... Hungarian Indian War. What the heck? What? All right, these 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 wars are kind of weird. Not gonna lie, kind of weird. Uh, let's keep improving our ships. 
Alright, you're constantly getting attacked. My gosh. Uh, oh, Germany, please. It's August. Oh, we're still out of guns because I made that decision. Oh, I'm doing that. Western Balkans. Ugh, Germany, why? I mean, I guess you made one good thing here. You want no more attack and stuff, but... Is it really worth it? Oh, we can produce a few more military factories. Oh my god, we've built so many. Uh, I know we're really good without incurring some sort of penalty. I'm not doing it there. We have a dockyard, and I want to do that one, but I need more military factories regardless. 40, 40, 40. They're all 40, that's terrible. Let's do that. Good. Oh, we are not winning here. Uh, give him a last stand uh, uh, maneuver idea. Alright, seriously, I need I need some more soldiers in the field right now. Alright, so are we going to win yet? Are we going to lose? Eh, we're doing okay. Other than that, yeah, we're out of guns again. Guns are going... Field artillery, field artillery is going up. Good. Defensive bunker is done. Uh, land auction could pay off very much so. Uh, let's get infrastructure so that we're ready for research slot whenever it fires. So, next research. We're almost done with 1917 stuff. Good. Efficiency resource gain. Uh, let's do that. We might as well. I uh, know, I'm completely ignoring the Air Force, which I really don't have any of. That's okay. That's okay with me. Right, Carl the First? That's right. Got tons of these things, though. Uh, we have enough. I'm going to lower that a little bit. Help our deficit out. Oh, that could, that could be so good to do. Slow offensives might work. Let's help out our German brothers. God, you better win. If not, I'm going to be disappointed in you again, Germany. I will be disappointed. Ooh, you have another upgrade? Oh, you can become adaptable. Actually, that's a really good upgrade to have. So the terrain penalty reduction is going to be paying off quite a bit, hopefully. Look at all these cavalry. They're just, just veteran horses. We have the Austrian winged hussars here. They are ready to help you out. Good lord, this battle's going on for a while. You need to come down here to help them out. Alright, at this point, we're negative 209 artillery on my divisions. I think it's good to add some support artillery. And since the guys are getting attacked so much, a field hospital might help them out. Better trickle back. Yeah, they're getting attacked so much, that's fine. Yeah, that'll cause a few more deficits. Ooh, we need more support equipment. That's okay, though. That should be good. Uh, we are kind of winning here. Help them out again. Put more pressure on those Russian boys. It's September. Wait, do the Germans actually... They're, they're actually kind of winning this area, because they did break through with over here in the Baltics. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I have to... Lublin will also need factories. Oh, oh, they put more pressure, another pressure division in there. Wow. So the coast is good. How's this looking? Are we expanding? No, nothing's really nothing's really happened very much. That's kind of to be expected, but you know, whatever. Uh, you guys, you help out. You know what, you might as well help put the pressure on these guys as well. Alright, casualties. Less than half a million for us. Germany's lost 4.6 million, that's a lot. The Ottomans haven't lost too many. They've lost just a little bit more than me, which is under half a million. The British have lost two million. The French have lost three and a half. And the Russians have lost almost getting close to three million. Nice, we took that province. Good job, guys. So, oh, are we losing here? Or is that just normal? That might just be normal. Ooh, I, uh, yeah, the United States is at war with... Oh! This is not good. Where are all these soldiers? Where are you? You should be doing resistance stuff, but you definitely need to garrison the ports. That's extremely important. Like, why do I have four guys down here? Select half of them. I need you up here in Zara. Oh, that's ridiculous. What the heck? Oh, they took... Oh, they even landed! Oh, my God. Um, We're going to need emergency defense right here. So, we're taking you guys off of Luxembourg, and we're putting you over here. Because if they can't get a port, yeah, they're screwed. Oh my god, I'm going to actually lose the port. I've got to sacrifice this port. I need I need soldiers. Like, this is ridiculous. Germany, 
please stop attacking. Oh, they're trying to expand. They're trying desperately to expand out. Yeah, you have to come over here. Yeah, working Japanese. Think you can come invade us? Yeah, thank you, Bulgaria. Thanks for sending your boys this way. Ah, oh, good God. This is so bad. Alright, so they're winning here. Not by much, but it might be enough that we could help turn the tide of battle. We might be able to break the Russian army. I'm being slightly optimistic. But you never know. Our deficits are looking quite a bit better. Especially since I put artillery on these coastal units. This will be the Gallipoli of this year. Ah, uh, the British invasion. Not going to work out so well for you now, is it? Not going to work out so well. And they are almost completely defeated. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Honestly, uh, send you guys over here. I'm tired, of, I'm tired of the Japanese trying to invade me. It's so weird. So weird. Winning over here. We're winning not a lot of battles with our allies. That's okay. Oh, I see some American boys have arrived in uh, Europe. What? Three divisions. Wow. Oh my gosh. God, I hope our line can hold. I hope Ludendorff line can hold well. Because if it doesn't, I have no defenses for you, Germany. I'm sorry. I can do the best I can, but even then, without proper use and utilization of the military, you're not going to do very well. Alright, so I'm going to increase these guys up to the best soldiers. Yes, it does hurt our production equipment and stuff, but that's okay. Uh, ooh, this is looking pretty good over here, too. 223 support equipment. That's what we need. Uh, put that on top. Uh, we're getting invaded. They sound like Western Balkans. Why do they love this province so much? It makes no sense to me. They love uh, Istra, Trieste area as well. Let's see. Another, another destroyer. Very good. It is 1917. Have we m matched our deficit needs? No. God, no. Uh, of course, that also is influenced by me trying to increase the size of some of our divisions. So, whatever. Everyone's in a deficit. Maybe except the United States. I hope that doesn't turn the tide of the war, though. That'd be really bad. You guys are actually winning up here. I, I'm, I'm very inclined to maybe send a division to help out. Just one. It won't cost us too much to try that out. Uh, six divisions. Yeah, Germany, please stop attacking. Please. Ooh, infrastructure effort four. Good. So we've got one more focus before we can do extra research slot two, and we're going to do that with our land option. Uh, how is this going? Is this going okay? It's going okay. No, yeah, maybe not. At this point, I'm going to reorganize my entire front line. God dang it. I'm glad I paused it. Alright. We're here. We'll come over here. Hopefully things will get redistributed a little bit better. And how's this looking? And they're attacking, of course, was it Zara, I think. Yeah. They're attacking Zara again. Ugh, that's pretty annoying, honestly. That's why I've increased these levels. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Surprised this front is so quiet now. Eastern front is just raging with, like, hormones. It's like a teenager just always, like, acting up. Jesus. So many, so many hormones here. Middle East, though. Yeah, we're doing pretty well, honestly. Uh, since I have the cavalry down here, I can probably expand this a little bit. By a little bit, I mean that much. Make it look like we we're kind of weak, but we're not really weak. Ooh, money! Uh, synthetic refineries. What about air power? 1818. Eh, not really worth it. Let's go ahead and do those refineries. Cool. 29, that's good. Deficit. God, I've been looking at numbers all day. Guns are looking pretty good. I mean, honestly, as so is artillery. Even with our substantial upgrades two of some of our divisions. We're just waiting it out, waiting, letting the Germans deplete their resources, and then we will, of course, attack when we are good and ready. Actually, Japan has lost most casualties to Romania. That's interesting. 65.4 thousand men from the Japanese Empire have been lost to Romania alone. That's interest That's extremely interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. Why would you attack with only 4% 4, 4 win, win, win rate? Or something like that. You know, that's... Oh! <gasps> We have our soldiers! Schlosstruppen! Yes. Good. Add them to the Russian front. These guys will be extremely necessary. I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I've not been attacking so we can actually get more soldiers into the field. 
But he's, these guys will be extremely important. Poland, yes, we're not winning a lot of battles. I wish Germany would stop attacking so I can do a proper attack somewhere. Oh, Germany, why? Please let me do a proper attack somewhere. Good. Because I would like to attack this 6th division. Alright, so they're done. They're done attacking. It is December. This is probably a terrible idea if I attack this. But maybe not. I want them to engage the battle first because they don't have to go over, over a river. You guys do that, you guys do that. And your army, whoever is leading you, Felix Sturm, will get an attack bonus. Very, very concentrated attack from one, two, three, four, five, and five divisions, five provinces. That should be enough to hopefully push the enemy out of the area. Alright, look at this. We're looking good. I wish we could do more war propaganda, but we already have 100% war support in a very multinational state here. Hmm, there's not much else we can do. Artillery. Infantry equipment. I will need more soldiers for this front, though. Pretty much on all fronts when really the full force of the United States is coming towards us. So. Oh, of course. Western Balkans. What, what else is new? Not much. These two divisions gotta get more speed here somewhere. Level 4? That's pretty good. I might be able to put you under Field Marshal. Do we have anyone here who could be Field Marshal? Ah, oh, Theodore Graf. Ah, screw it. Why not? Right? Why not? Get some, get this man more XP. Maybe give us some benefits in the future. Oh, you're, are you winning here? Maybe I could help turn the tide with all these extra divisions helping out. Uh, do we win that battle? I think we won that battle. Great, 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 great job, guys. Hmm. Is there anywhere strategically that we could help attack? I mean, I guess technically here. We don't push this way. The Romanians do have the front there. We can send three divisions this way to help attack close to Kiev. That'll be good, if we can actually get Kiev. That'll be a major uh, blow to the Russian stability, or to the people's morale, in my opinion. But I guess they have 31% stability. Go figure. 30 ships. We got another destroyer. Good. Oh, I'm also going to need help Germany to defend some of its coastal provinces, because once Germany gets invaded through coastal provinces, it's pretty much probably going to be all over. Uh, that's good. Reduction efforts good. It's good. Good, keep going, keep going, it's good. It's good. Oh, this is gonna be good. Come on, guys, you got this. 98, nope, nope, no, 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 not 97. Uh, this guy, hmm, Dmitry Sherbakev. Looks Sher, sure. Sher, that's almost, looks all German and Russian at the same time. Come on, guys, you got this. Just put a little bit more pressure, and you have it done. Don't wanna to attack too much. Oh, we're good on field, oh, we're good on field guns. Great. Great, 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 great. And we're actually pretty much positive on everything here. That's awesome. Two stars, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good already. I'm feeling very confident. This was the episode that we needed to make sure that our equipment production was up to standard. High enough, up to standard, of course. Come on. We could maybe win here. I'm So that basically means I'm a little more confident in my attacks. Uh... Three divisions. Three frickin' divisions, yeah. Go ahead and help them out. Oh, now it's ten divisions. What the hell? It was three earlier. Did we win still? No. Alright, well, at least the battle's of that's over. Oh, Spanish... Uh oh Spanish flu, the H1N1 influenza virus, better known as a Spanish flu, is spreading like wildfire. Currently, up to 500 million people across the world, even those on remote Pacific islands and in the Arctic, have been confirmed infected. 50 to 100 million of them are dead already? Oh, I see why. Considering the events of the last few years, perhaps mankind is simply being punished for what it has done. And with that in mind, happy 20... 20? 20, 20 what? $20? No, I don't have... To, I don't got money. But happy 1918, guys. We finally reached it. Hopefully this year will be a good year for us, and we won't lose in on November 11th at the 11th hour. That would be a terrible idea if that ever happened. But that's just child's work. We are still very strong. Obviously, the end of 1917 was a very good year for us in terms of equipment production. And I feel confident that we, as a nation, can continue this great war effort, even though the Germans might not be able to. All right. Oh, we still have 34. Uh, come on. Give us some more good news. Ooh. Good news, good news. What's the Russian manpower? Because that's really what we got to kill out first. And something tells me, why hasn't there any been any serious revolutions in Russia yet? It's 1918. I think they left the war in 1917, I think. Could you guys win here? You've got a lot of divisions. We've got a lot of great divisions. 
but he got a lot of divisions regardless. It doesn't look like it. Let's continue to add more divisions to this province, which is good for draining divisions away to other more vulnerable positions. Are we getting invaded again? Yeah, at this point I'm not really concerned. Uh, is there anywhere we could attack here? Eight divisions over a river sounds like suicide. There's seven divisions here. Actually, we might be able to strike here, actually. Oh, Doctrine Effort 3. Good. And better armored cars. Now, that means it's time for our next research slot, which hopefully give us an edge in this war. It's 1918, of course, so that means our infantry get, can get all sorts of better things. Uh, we need better attack, so I might do this. Oh, more breakthroughs. We suffer less casualties. Ooh, more slots attack and defense. Oh, there's so much good stuff. Oh, flamethrower wands. We finally have flamethrowers, so we can throw fire at the enemy. I love it. Especially in winter. That should definitely help, right? Make things a little warmer. Even though someone, someone will probably get caught on fire, but that's okay. Uh, actually, before we're done, so many more military factories. More production. More, more, more production. We cannot win this war without enough production. Oh, yeah. We're, we are attacking here. It looks like we are winning this battle. We're finally... We are finally able to push quite well. Yeah, we need more of this. Good. We actually won that battle. Good, good, good. We, we, I think we are we are on the verge of having a major, a fairly major offensive into Russia. With all of our recent successes, this is making me feel a little bit confident. Maybe a little too overconfident, but a little bit confident nonetheless. But we're going to wait for this division to get out of here first, and then we will attack. Here we go. Two combat with seven divisions versus our eight divisions currently in, with two more divisions being added to one of these armies. And the Western Balkans is getting invaded, but I think we're okay. Should be okay. Oh, wait, do you have... We have enough command power? Yeah, get defensive doctrine so we have a little more entrenchment, which will prove to be very, very useful for our soldiers. Good, we are winning this battle. Yes, this is good. I'm feeling very good about this. Hopefully, in the next episode, we can actually do quite a bit more pushing since we're draining the Russians of their equipment levels, which is good, good, good. Oh, and Italy has started back up. Uh, yeah. A third Dreadnought 3. Awesome. But I won't attack until we have more Dread Destroyers, which will happen in the next episode, of course. You guys are holding out. The Western Front is extremely quiet. It's suspiciously quiet. I don't like that. They must be gearing up for some sort of massive offensive against us. Uh, we, I don't want to attack there. This is fewer divisions over here. What is this? This is planes. Less speed. Seven divisions. But over here, we've tried to attack this before. What is this? This is marsh. Yeah, don't. I'm not going to attack the marsh. Hell no. Let's try this. Maybe, maybe we could win here. Maybe. It's planes. Oh, we do, we do get less attack though as well. It's not good. Up. Oh, we might be winning though. Western Balkans. Yeah, nothing to really concern. You must be like, yeah, don't worry about it. We got it covered. Ooh, frozen. We're, we're actually being successful in the western marshes and plains. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, this next episode. We are definitely going to have some probably some sort of major push. And we're going to love every single second of it. But I'm feeling very confident. We might be able to attack here as well. Maybe? Oh, oh maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Some divisions are here. Wait for that division to get out first. Let's attack here. We're going to attack across the front in key locations. Ooh, another two divisions, and that Russian army is done. So, Arthur, do you have enough power to become a skilled staffer? No, you suck. But the guy down in Italy does. He can become an expert delegator. Oh. Hmm. Which, if I remove them, him from the, this command... That might prove disastrous, but we'll see what happens. Let's see, we're going to replace you. So we're replacing, uh, make sure we're replacing this guy with Stogasteiner von Stettenschnacke, this guy. Because now he can have an expert delegator, uh, as well as better logistics. Oh my gosh, that'll be so good. And then this, this guy will have an army command of from... Bullfrost. Bullfrost is still pretty good, don't get me wrong. He's a pretty good, gosh darn good, uh, field marshal. I might be able to use, use him elsewhere, actually. I know what to do. Uh, Lefert, uh, maybe I'll make him 
infantry leader, defense. Wait, hold on. You? What traits do you have? You can't do this because you have to be a general. Alright. But. He has to be. He doesn't get it because he's not a general. So we'll make. Actually, we'll make the field marshal the general. Sorry for the demotion. But we need to use you. Oh, we already have maximum number of traits. Well, whatever. And we're going to replace you with this field marshal. That'd be fine. Hopefully, this won't screw up a few things. But. With that in mind, we're going to add more soldiers to the front here. And we're going to have a new general as well. Gerhard Becker. What do up here? Armored Warfare. And I will end that episode very, very soon. Now, the last part of this land doctrine is Cult of the Offensive Doctrine. New weaponry like tanks, the submachine gun, and the light machine gun have made the long trenches and stalemates of the last war, our current war, almost obsolete. Even if we are still to be a defensive-focused army, the future is no longer with the old doctrines and mentalities. Tomorrow's war may just make speed a priority. So we get better speed. Better organization loss. Max attrition speed goes way down. Better uh, planning speed and less max attrition. Ooh, that actually kind of hurts us. That's okay. And we've got a few more soldiers here. And before we're done, before we're fully, fully done, I'm going to reorganize this army one more time. So, stop your attacks because they're all failing. Oh, and we will put, position the army to be in an extremely good position the next time we play. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. So with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. We have obviously not done a lot territorially, but we have expanded our military by quite a bit. We've expanded production, and now, for the most part, besides support equipment, we actually have a surplus of military goods to strike into the enemy at the first half of 1980. Man, this makes me excited. Thank you very much for watching, guys, though. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we plan more offensives to hopefully strike the Russians out of the war. Thank you for watching.